Hey, John Oaks here with Hanksers Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we get to go over our newest edition of our inventory. This very nice example of a 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. As you can see, nice bright red exterior on this car. And the paint is very nice on this car. Super smooth, super shiny the whole way around. As you can see, it does also have that black Bumblebee style no stripe on the front of it. Uh, all of the bright work again on these cars is in excellent condition nice shiny bright chrome front and rear bumpers you can see on this car it carries the 327 badging on the front fender along with the camaro script and ss emblems on the front fender as well now that 327 does signify what is under the hood but we'll get to that here in just a little bit when we go underneath the hood now as far as the wheels and tires on this car, you can see that these have been changed from stock obviously. These are brand new American Racing Torque Thrust D 15.7s on the front and 15.8s out here on the back. Of course you can see it's got the Mastercraft Avenger GT uh, radial tires there, front and rear, matching tread patterns. We've got two 15.65 R15s on the front and two 75.60 R15s on the back so that gives it a nice rake front to back on this car. Now as far as the body panel fitment and alignment you can see very clearly you can see your gaps on the front and back side of the door here pretty uniform front to back. Elevations when compared with the front fender and rear quarter panels are dead on on this car. Of course all the body lines and everything all match up. As far as more bright work, we've got these mirrors here, both sides, driver and passenger side, chrome mirrors, the chrome's in great shape, the glass is in great shape too. All of your moldings around your windows, your drip rail moldings per se, those are in great shape. Super straight the whole way around, no dense dings, anything, polished up really nice. Also, when we run our finger through that rain gutter, nice and smooth the whole way around. Then we get to our glass and our driver's side here. So as you can see, it is tinted glass, uh, both your uh, window and the door and your quarter window, but those are both in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks in any of them. Don't really see any scratching to really speak of on any of those glass parts either. Of course, you've got your chrome door handles here. Those are a great thing. We're going to go inside, take a look at the interior next. You've got your typical 68 standard interior here, black, all black, carpeting, door panels, upholstery, everything. You've got the front bucket seats there. You've got the Camaro SS steering wheel there with the SS horn button, factory dash. You do have a couple of aftermarket gauges, uh, that being your oil pressure, and I believe it's the water temperature gauge. Now this car is a radio delete car, uh, but in the panel for the radio delete, that's where they've installed the extra gauges and your controls for the aftermarket AC that's installed in this car. As you can see, the upholstery, the carpeting, all of that is in really nice shape on this car. Door panels and such, same thing. Even your seals and your weather stripping all the way around on this car. It looks like somebody's put new in this not too long ago. There's no rips or tears in any of it, so it's going to seal up from the outside elements very, very nicely. We'll close it. Door shuts nice and easy, good solid thud there. And again, everything all lines up here as far as elevations. As we come to the back, of course, your, your side marker, uh, lamps, bezels, lenses, all of that stuff is in good shape. We get to the rear now, of course, we can see now the condition of the rear bumper. That chrome is in very nice shape. There's no pitting at all, polished up very nice. You can see your trunk lid now, the fitment. You can see all of your gaps the whole way around the trunk. Very nice elevations with the quarter panels are dead on on this car. Again, rear window, tinted. You can see that trim, the molding all the way around is in excellent shape. And again, no chips or cracks in that rear window. Of course, we've got the rear trunk spoiler on this car as well. 68 tail lights. Again, the lenses and bezels on all of those are in great shape. And you've got the SS gas cap there too. Now we'll open up our trunk because once we go inside the trunk, you're going to see um, that they, you know, paid a lot of attention to that too. So let's go ahead and do that. 
first thing is the key and the lock do work. They do uh, unlock the trunk. Of course, your door, your trunk hinges and springs, those all function as they should as it's holding the trunk lid up on its own. The underside of the trunk lid painted the same red as the exterior of the car. Of course, now you get to see they've done some custom upholstery work here in the trunk by putting a few custom panels in here to kind of help dress this area up a little bit. You can see the custom panels in the sides here and up front. Now your battery is actually located in here too. So if you ever need to, you know, get to the battery or anything, you just remove the panel, take that out. Of course, the trunk is carpeted as well. And you've got a set of Camaro mud or floor mats uh, that you can put in the car. We just elect to leave them out because we like to show the condition of the carpeting inside the car. Trunk shuts well too, nice and easy. So as we come around the passenger side, again, all your panels, nice and straight. We've already discussed everything really that we've been over uh, as far as gaffs, elevations, wheels, tires. Uh, only thing is we can now check the passenger side gaps. So again, there's your rear gap, your front gap. Elevations again are dead on with the front fender and quarter panels. Same thing with all of our trim. It is in excellent shape. Rain gutter on this side, nice and smooth all the way around. Glass, no chips, no cracks. We'll go ahead, take a look now from the passenger side. And again, just all the same stuff there, all black interior. The seat upholstery, no rips or tears in any of that. Same thing with the carpeting, no rips, tears, no fading either. Um, just the whole entire interior is in great shape. Of course, you see the center console there with the automatic floor shifter as well. So all of that is in great shape. Same thing with your weather stripping and seals on this side too. Again, that door shuts easy as well. Passenger side mirror. Again, all the matching emblems on this side too to go along with the other side. And now we'll come to the front of the vehicle. So up front now, you can see more of that uh, chrome bumper on the front there. Again, very nice chrome. No pitting or whatsoever there, nice and straight. You can see the grill here, all black, looks very nice. No cracks or breaks in any of that grill. Of course, you see the SS badging right in the center of the grill. Of course, this is just your typical 68 front end. Got your traditional sealed beam headlights here, uh, glass lenses, no chips or cracks there. And your parking lamps there. Again, same thing with that, in great condition, no chips or cracks. Down below, you can see it's got the black air dam to help kind of complete that look. And then up above, you can see our hood here. Now this is a steel hood, two inch cal induction hood. You can look at the gaps the whole way around, look at the paint, elevations, all of that in really good condition on this car. Again, your windshield, no chips or cracks there, and your trim around that windshield is in great shape. Like I said, we've got that black stripe here on the nose to kind of set that car off a little bit more. So now what we'll do is we'll go underneath the hood. We'll talk about the motor and the rest of the drive on next. All right, so with the hood open, first thing you can do is see the underside of the hood, how nice a condition it is. So again, all painted up the same color as the rest of the car. Hood hinges and springs are all in great shape. Now on this car, they've done the cowl, uh, the same color as the car, red. Of course, your inner fenders, those are black. Now the underside of this car, when we get to doing the video for that, you're gonna notice that it's painted up just the same as the top side of this car. So when we get there, you'll see how nice that is. Right now though, we're gonna look at your core support red. The cowl is all red back there. Um, your engine now underneath here. This is a non-numbers match 327 cubic inch small block Chevy engine. It does have the chrome air cleaner and the chrome Chevrolet valve covers on it. Got your PCV valve there in the valve covers. Uh, as far as down underneath your air cleaner, looks like we've got an Edelbrock carburetor. It's a single feed four barrel carburetor with an electric choke on it. You've got an Edelbrock Performer RPM aluminum intake there too, polished aluminum. All of your radiator hoses and so forth all look good. You've got a chrome alternator. You've got polished aluminum water pump. You've got, uh, looks like chrome pulleys there. You've got an aluminum radiator with a chrome shroud. Looks like you've got a six blade flex fan in there. 
Um, of course, you've got the aftermarket air conditioning unit over there. So compressor, all your hoses and everything. Those are all nicely tucked away as best they can be. Got the chrome fender braces in here as well. The ignition system has been upgraded on this. Got an MSD um, distributor over there, along with a MSD Blaster 2 coil. Um, as far as plug wires go, um, I'm going to say slightly upgraded, probably a 7 millimeter plug wire, it looks like there. So that's going to help deliver a little better spark uh, to the motor. Of course, your carburetor and your intake are going to deliver a little bit more fuel and air to that too to make this thing run a lot better. Now, as I look down in here, um, I can see a very nice aluminum tube style fin transmission cooler. Now, that's going to go in combination with the transmission that's in this car. It is automatic, but it's the 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission, which makes it really nice. You'll be able to cruise around no matter where you want to go, in town, on the highway. It's going to be able to do that no problem. All right, so we are underneath our 1968 Chevy Camaro here. We're going to go through the underside of this car just as we do with all of our vehicles, uh, going over all the suspension, steering, braking components, of course, the engine, the drive line, and complete. Um, with the transmission rear end, exhaust system, you name it, we're going to go underneath it and tell you exactly what's here. So starting here at the front, we have for our front suspension and framework here, this is your stock front cross member. This is all nice and straight over under here. As far as the suspension arms, we've got the factory stamp steel components here. Stock upper and lower control arms on this car. Bushings and ball joints on everything all look to be really good on this front end. Now as far as the steering, this is a power steering car. Um, all of your tie rods all look to be in great shape, nice and straight. Ball joints all still retain those little rubber dust boot covers to help keep the grease in and dirt and debris out away from those ball joints and keep them functioning as they should. Uh, everything looks to be well maintained underneath here also. As far as the braking components on this vehicle, we have power brakes and it is four wheel disc brakes on this car. And the rear brakes when we get there do have the park brake option on the rear disc brakes and it is all hooked up and functional on this car as well. This car also has a front sway bar on it too. That's gonna help with the cornering. Um, so it's all set up here. You've got your frame mount bushing, which those are hard to see on this car because they're kind of tucked up in here on that front subframe. But those are in good shape from what I can see. Sway bar and link bushings, those are all in great shape too. While we're kind of going over the steering and suspension and stuff also, we'll go all the way out to the ends here and just talk about our wheels and tires next wheels on this car. These are brand new American Racing Torque Thrust D wheels. These are 15.7s up front, 15.8s out on the back of it. And again, these are the five spoke machined aluminum wheel. They've got that uh, gray, uh, I think they call it like an anthracite painted center on them. Real nice looking wheel, classy looking wheel for all of these classic cars. Uh, and as far as tires, we've got Mastercraft Avenger uh, radial GT tires on here. On the front, we've got 215 65R15s, and on the back, we've got 275 60R15s. Now, as far as the drive line, we'll go with that next. For motor, we've got a non-numbers matching 327 cubic inch motor here. Um, this thing is in great condition, runs very well too. It's got an aluminum, finned aluminum uh, oil pan on it. Uh, that is dry too, free from any leaks or drips that I'm looking at here. Behind that for a transmission, we've got a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Real nice for taking out and cruising around. Plus you can get it out on the highway, it's not gonna over rev. It's got the overdrive gear in it, so you can just cruise no matter what it is, what application you're doing there. It also has a flywheel cover, so that's gonna protect that flywheel from getting a tooth chipped off from any dirt and debris that can come back through. Of course, back here on the transmission pan, it is dry also. Uh, back here at the seal where your drive shaft goes into the transmission, that is dry also. Of course, drive shaft, it is balanced, so that's gonna help eliminate a lot of vibration out of your drive line. And then we've got the, uh, this is a 10 bolt rear, 
It's a 308 gear inside this rear end, um, and it's the 82 ring gear. Um, so that's the size on that. And again, that is nice and dry, two underneath here. We'll move out here, talk about the rear suspension. We've got mono leaf rear suspension on this car, along with the traction bars and a set of air shocks. So that's gonna make it real easy for you to go ahead and adjust the rear ride height or the rake in the car just by simply putting an air hose to that and raising or lowering the rear of the car. And then out back here, we've got the fuel tank. This looks to be in really good shape, probably a stainless tank too. All the mounting hardware, the straps, bolts, so forth, that is all in great condition on this car. As you can see, we'll talk about the floor and frame now. This thing is painted the same as the body color on this car. Floors look great. There are no patching, no holes whatsoever in this floor. It looks great. Trunk floor, same thing. Nice and solid. No patches, no holes. Subframe up front, that is nice and straight. You can see it never looks like it's ever been hit on anything. Body bushings, those are in great condition too. They're not split, dried out, or anything. These are in great shape. As I mentioned, those rear brakes, all four are, are this. But on this car, it's got the park brake option on it. So all the cables for the parking brake are all hooked up and it's functional. Um, as far as fuel lines and brake lines, everything's run nice and neat along the sides of the car here underneath. So no issues there. And the exhaust system, we've got long tube headers, dual exhaust, crossover pipe. We've got a set of dual Flowmaster mufflers on this car. And then of course we've got the tailpipes that come out over top of that rear end housing and they exit right between the leaf spring and the rear quarter panel on the car on both sides. That is pretty much it for underneath our 68 Camaro.